Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you multiple craft projects. One of the projects will be changing the rings in my Happy Planner. Uh, if you saw my haul, uh, my previous haul, you'll see that I finally got my metal disc in for my Happy Planner. So I'm going to change those. I didn't find the green ones, so I'm going to change out into the gold ones. I'm going to make a couple greeting cards. So, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. the gatefold card yet again to make our next greeting card uh, which is going to be a happy birthday card Green. I've decided I want to do an A2 card instead. And I've already cut this paper. I can make it work though. I sure can. Quarter of an inch. Something just decided. I just decided that I wanted more space to work with, and I think the A2, the gatefold is a longer card, but the A2 is a wider card, and it would give me more space. It gives me more space to put the happy birthday in things. I think that's perfect. That's what I'm looking for. This is what I want. Like. So I'm gonna take this. Again, take the opportunity to use up some of this double-sided tape. Yeah. I have like four rolls of it. And um, I need to... I want to use it up. And I decided also, even though I didn't say that, I decided that the card was going to be landscape as opposed to as opposed to portrait. I mean, granted, it could be. I think I want it this way, though. I'm not going to put a sentiment in this card just yet. I do have someone in mind that I'm giving it to, but I just, when I'm ready to give it, I'll write a sentiment in. So I'm trying to decide if I want to raise it, if I want to move it to the top. And I'm pretty sure I do. I think I answered that question right off the bat. I want it centered. So cute, the banner. I 
I like that. <laughs> and then down here in the center, um, hmm, that is so cute. The cake. Oh, top, because I gotta leave room to write my sentiment. And I'm just gonna sit it because I'm not sure if it's gonna stay. I don't know if I like that. And then do the balloons. There it is. That's how I'm gonna do it. Birthday wishes, another year older. And then I put the banner, the gift box, and when they open it up, there'll be a birthday cake on the inside and my personal sentiment for a long bottle. I think that's cute. I like that. That's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so now I am going to replace, I got my metal discs that um, came in. That was in a haul. I showed you guys these discs in a haul a few weeks ago. I'll link it above. Um, I got these in an Amazon haul. Um, so if you check out that video, I'll link it up above for you to take a look and see what all I got in the haul. But these are the metal discs. The metal, oh yeah, the metal disc, and I'm gonna replace my uh, plastic extender disc with the metal extender disc. Okay, so. Hi, everyone. So as I said, it's a random, it's, it's, it's not, you know, I, I made some planner art. So that was the planner art that um, that I created for the front of my planner. I put one here, I put one there. And um, I just created them, as I said, from Google and put together something, uh, a sentiment on them that made sense to me. Um, she believed she could, so she did, and loved, blessed, faith, those kind of things. And then of course, this is the um, Happy Planner, the Faith uh, Happy Planner, Grace Upon Grace. I'm going to change the rings in here. So I'm gonna slide this out. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. Boy, it's been a while since I've done this and I don't quite remember how I did it. I, I think I took the, I think I took these off first. I think. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, because I haven't changed these. It's been a while. They're not the easiest things to change. They're not completely impossible to change, but they're not exactly easy either. So, I think I'll start there. Get my rings here. I still, I could not find the teal ones, that, so I'm going to go ahead and move forward with changing them out. Because I didn't want to change them out if I was going to find the green ones, but I can't find them. So, oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, can match my jewelry. They are so pretty. Look at that. Oh, wow. I heard some people complain that they um, they didn't flip as nicely as I had envisioned they would. Um, I'm going to find out. Mm -hmm.
I got my butterfly with the new rings. Gorgeous. Very pretty. I use these to transfer keys and things like that because I'm not putting my fingernails in there to break open anything. These work perfect. And I have an extra metal. Somebody let me know down below if you had extra metal rings left over. Is it? Yeah, I feel like I missed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh, maybe you just always got an 11 and I just didn't know. Okay guys, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. Thanks for tuning in. Come back next week. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next week. Bye.